What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we're back with another Ark Story episode for you guys today. And guys, after last episode where we took on the Lunar Biome, finishing up a couple of missions, we're back down in the ocean depths trying to finish off these. As you guys know, we are super close to being able to fight um, the Master Controller. I'm pretty sure we're eight missions away. I think that needs to be 58, I think, or 54 or something like that. So I thought we'd tackle the rest of the aquatic missions. Oh god, I'm not even looking forward to fighting this thing. What level are you? Level 95. Do I leave this guy alone? We're going to start the Teeth Underneath. So I've got a couple of missions. We're going to do this one. The one where we have to hunt Elite Scythicus. And I think there's a couple more that we're going to do. Um, I don't know where that Moser went. Hopefully, though, we can... Let's just start this one. Oh, God. Oh, God. We are running our Bazzy. Uh, I've got a couple of Megalodons cryo up ready to go as well. Because they're going to be useful for whatever we fight that has a lot of health. Because... We can obviously just do the, the bleeding damage, alright, but we have to actually... Oh, shit. I just hit an Ammonite. This is not going to be a fun time. Luckily, we are on a Bazzy, so we shouldn't get affected really by the Electrophoruses. Um, and hopefully nothing else really comes this way. I'm hoping that the lead Scythicus up there doesn't aggro on us. I don't think he does. Even with the Ammonite stuff going on. But that's not how I wanted to start this off, uh, so that's great. All right, let's just force feed a bunch of this. So yeah, I've got three Megalodons with us, so they're going to apply some of that bleed and stuff like that to anything that we need to face down, which I'm hoping isn't too much. Um, but we've got the last remnants of these little dudes here. But yeah, we're almost at the end of, of the Genesis playthrough, I think. Um, I don't know whether or not we want to try and do Beta and Alpha Master Controller. I had a guy leave a comment saying that the Alpha wasn't actually too hard. So we may or may not give it a go. It depends on how well the gamma goes and we can sort of decide from there. So yeah, but we've got to obviously do the amount of missions. The only problem is if we want to do the beta master controller, we have to freaking do 10 billion missions. And I'm not looking forward to that. Okay, start. And as you can see, we've got our little uh, shadow main chibi. I don't know where he is, but he's, he's floating around drowning with us. So that's always a fun sign. We probably don't even need our Megalodons for this. Follow Helena's checkpoints. She'll guide you to the trophy, to the Toothy Megalodon's den. So we're doing this one. Very similar to the to the Trike one, I believe. But you know what we're going to do? Just to be on the safe side of things, I'm going to throw these guys out. I don't think we'll need them. But if we do, they'll be there. They can deal with whatever it is. Oh, God, that comes our way. Like uh, a crazy angry plesiosaur. Because we can probably do the beta version of this with the, the two Megalodons. The three Megalodons, sorry. Where did our other one go? He just took off. Into the ocean depths. Where we straight up threw another Megalodon out and he just vanished. Where'd he go? Where did our <laughs> Where did our other Megalodon go? Our uh, female breeder as well also died because she got attacked by an Electrophorus. Hey, look, Lyopleurodon. Uh, she got attacked by... Is that our Megalodon up there? She got attacked by a uh, Electrophorus, so it just slowly whittled her down and killed her. Surely that's our Meg, right? That is not our Meg. Where the... Did I only throw out one Megalodon? No, I threw out two. Cool, so we just straight up lost a Megalodon. Oh, no, there it is. Wonderful. Okay, guys, tear it apart. Do what you need to do. Kill it. Hey, look. Wait, what the fuck? Where did our Baryonyx come from? What the hell? He... I'm... I... I swear we parked that guy back at the base. <laughs> I could have sworn that's what we did. All right. Um, I feel like I need to cryo him up. Oh, gosh. But there's a Moser coming for us. All right. Baryonyx, you can come with us too, mate, I guess. Uh, guys, let's kill this Moser, please. Because this... Okay, this is this is not how I plan for this to go. I don't know where our Baryonyx came from. But, I mean, I'll take the extra support. As long as he doesn't die, we... Oh, man, I just don't like how much health these guys have. Oh, that's a 140. You know what? Swim away from it. Swim away from it. That's gonna that's gonna really hurt us. Let's just let's just ignore that and swim away from it. We'll go to the next checkpoint. Yeah, that's dumb. We're not fighting a 140 freaking Mosasaur. That's got like 20k health. 25k health. All right, let's kill this thing. I want to throw out the other Megalodon. Uh, oh my god, look how much damage it's dealing. 100, 480 on our Baryonyx most likely, and I can't even do anything to to like fight back against it because if we kill these guys around it, it'll just heal off the meat that it consumes off them, so there's nothing we can really even do to, like, stop it, unless I self-sacrifice our Baryonyx. 
But I can't even do that. Okay, we're just going to have to kill this Mozart. It's going to take so long. Our Megalodon's already bloody, bloody. From the Mozart. I really don't think we're going to be able to kill this guy. And I want to swim away from him, but I don't think I can. Okay, let's go. Everyone, come on. Can we get away from it? This is, uh, this is not going as planned. I've already... No, there's the Megalodon. Alright, keep going. We're good. Mosasaur, leave me alone, please. He's still following us. That's a lot of Megs. I'm making sure everyone's on passive. Okay. And the Moser is sort of at its depth limit by the looks of it. I don't think it can surface any higher, I'm hoping. If we can stay at this height, that'd be super swell because it'd mean that we don't need to worry about fighting off that 140 Moser. How Baryonyx, how bloody that poor dude is. Oh my god. Actually, he should be okay because he should be able to eat some fish meat off these guys, right? You should be able to get fish meat off the, off the Megalodons. Unless they don't drop fish meat anymore. But he, he's kind of useful because he does stun the Megalodons as well. But these are normal Megs. I'm just trying to kill this Plesiosaur. Is this also a normal Plesiosaur? Not part of the mission? I would say so, most likely. Yeah. Okay. Are we good? Is that all of them? I need to throw out the other one. Alright, let's just whistle passive here and we'll keep moving on. I'm going to throw out this extra one. Bazzy, come back. I need a ride. Thank you. Everyone, let's go. Passive. Oh, we can kill this guy. Kill that one. Kill it. Someone. Okay. Well, this isn't working. Whistle neutral, I guess. There we go. Okay. Passive. Everyone follow. Okay. Now that we've got our little... Hey, what, what the hell? Another li... Oh, these guys are part of the missions. I was like, we've never seen so many Lyopluridons in my life. It's because they're part of the mission. They're level 75. That's how we know. All right. Let's come over here to the next checkpoint. Everyone should be on passive, but we'll scan this next checkpoint. Yeah, this is uh, this is intense. All right. Everyone can go on neutral now. That Mosasaurus really messed us up. Like, our dudes took so much damage from it. Just so much unnecessary damage, too. All right. I mean, I'm not, I don't think we're going to have any issues taking out these guys. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Except for maybe the Electrophorus is weakening everyone. But, you know, we're pretty much all done here. Let's go. Everyone, passive. Let's go. Follow me. Our power Baryonyx. He is super bloody. I need to probably get him some fish meat. It's just a little bit hard to do so. I need some oxygen as well. Okay. Where's our Barry? I'm going to try and ride him. He is super low. Let's just force feed him a bunch of fish meat here. He's got a full inventory full of fish meat, so he should have healed off that. I don't know why he didn't. I don't want this guy to die. I should probably cryo him up, though, to be honest. Look at all this fish meat, and you're telling me you're not healing off him, mate? I don't know if Lyopluridons drop fish meat or not. I'm going to drop all this because it's annoying me, and we're super over... Oh, shit. There's a Mosasaur there. That's bad. We're almost dead on our Barry. Okay. Bye, Barry. I need a ride. I need something to ride on. Come here. Bazzy. Bazzy. Stupid, freaking, ridiculously strong Mosasaurs. All right, everyone on neutral. We're going to have to fight this out. I uh, just hope. It's ridiculous. We can take these freaking Megalodons up against Moda, but you bring a Moser into the mix, a wild one, and we just get decimated by it. I don't know where our other sharks are. I'm down to one. Okay. These are the ones that we took to, to Moda as well. I'm hoping we've still got a female somewhere in the mix here because we did lose our breed of females. So I'm hoping we have another one. But yeah, I think it's kind of ridiculous how we can take these guys up against Moda and destroy Moda, but a, a wild Mosasaur we can't kill. It's kind of dumb. Okay, scan. I'm just using our Bazzy to tank at the moment. There's no point in even fighting these uh, Mosasaurs. I think I'm down to one shark. I know our other ones haven't died. They've just kind of, kind of gotten lost along the way, I think. We'll be fine against these. Like, 
These guys aren't going to be an issue. It's just the Moses that are the issue. Alright, kill them all. I don't know. Hopefully this is the last-ish one. I should have just brought my two, so. That probably would have been the better option. Alright, where are we going now? Back down. I really wish I had my other megalodons. Uh, Alright. This should be the last checkpoint, I think. I'm hoping. Let's come down here. Next checkpoint, 30 meters. Retrieve your prize. Yeah, where's our prize, though? Oh, that's a lot of megalodons. Toothy megalodons killed. Teeth collected. So do we swim down here and kill them, or are they coming up to us? Okay, I guess we'll swim down. Uh, I'm going to pump some melee damage onto this guy. We're going to start taking death damage soon. I'm hoping these megalodons don't have too much health. I don't think they will. We don't have a health bar on them, but they do do the bleed damage. Okay, there's one. Do I just have to keep killing them? Or do I have to actually collect the teeth? Oh, don't tell me the bags dropped to the ocean floor. Okay, uh, I don't really have the opportunity to get off here. What's that? Ah, I found something. Give me the teeth. Give me the teeth. Give me the teeth. And then we have to escape, I think. Don't we? Is that part of this one or is that another one? That I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, we still got to escape. Let's go. This shouldn't be an issue, but I know we're going to get bombarded with a bunch of stuff. What's our, what's our next best option? If we tame up one of the dolphins, maybe, and then we just cruise around on that while we have a bunch of dudes following us and get them to deal the damage, that's probably our best option because this escape part is always the worst. This is where you just get bombarded with everything. And if we've got a fast tame, we could probably outrun everything. And I can probably imagine why our Moses uh, Megalodons aren't able to follow us because we bloody freaking stocked them full of fish meat from all the stuff that they've been killing. That's okay. At least we know they're still alive. They're just kind of lost around the ocean biome. But look at all the look at all the dudes. If we look back behind us, we've got some Moses coming after us. I don't want to even fight that. Oh my gosh. Am I going to be able to make this? Or are we going to get stuck in here? Oh, I should be able to find. Bye, guys. Excuse me. Trying to get through here. Don't mind me. Once we hit this point, it should all make them disappear. Oh, my God. Look at all the sharks. And there's a Moser after us, even, too. Regardless of the depth limit. All right. We're so close. Oh, done. Hallelujah. I feel bad for our sharks. They're straight up just gone. Uh, what did we get? An Arrhenio saddle. We also lost our Baryonics, who had been through so much. And I feel kind of bad for not cryoing him up. Cryoing him up. To be honest, uh, I feel a little bit bad. We got some scuba flippers, which I don't like. We got a Pelagornis saddle, a Quet saddle. We got a Tappy saddle. We got a rocket launcher. Don't need, don't need. I don't really need any of this stuff. Um, okay. So that was fun, said no one ever. All right. Well, I mean, at least we got that done. We're at the surface, which is great for our Bazzy. I don't know where we are in comparison to our base, but this guy's definitely going to need a rest. Uh, so we just did that one. What was the other one we were going to do? Not that one. The white whale. You might need more than just a harpoon. Locked and loaded. We can do the uh, the plesiosaur. Rip it, roll it, and punch it. We can do that one as well. And echo of a classic. I think for these, we're going to need our Tuso. I think I'd feel a lot better with our Tuso. Our Bazzi right here is uh, very weak. So I don't think we're going to have too much assistance being able to take that out. Um, what am I looking for here? Teeth underneath, hide and sink. That'll take us back to base. Okay, let's get back to base. We will figure out what our options are for aquatic teams that we can use, because I've lost a bunch of them. Do I need any of this? No. Goodbye. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll get back to base, um, and we'll, we'll bring you guys back there. Also, I've got some good news. Our Rexes are all pretty much raised up. They're all imprinted. So by the time things come around for Rockwell, not Rockwell, sorry, the Master Controller, we should be fine. Uh, the only thing we need to do is probably take them on a couple of bog missions so that we can level them up a bit. Because they've only got about 10 or 11 levels. You can see them all bloody there lined up. So yeah, we need to take them out to the bog biomes. And we'll do some missions out there with them so that they can get some XP and stuff. 
and then we can tick off missions, tick off getting a little bit of extra XP for them as well, and we should be sweet. Don't suck me in, Vortex. But yeah, I don't know what our options are for really um, aquatic teams at the moment. I don't even know if we can do any more. I've got the Moses here that we've got that are our breeders, but that is pretty much it. Unless I go back down to motor and grab whatever teams we have left down there. This is a male, right? Yeah, we need the female. Oh, you have 36 levels. You can take all... I probably shouldn't have done that, but... I know I was keeping it for stats, but... We keep getting attacked by freaking electric eels over here, and it's super annoying. Okay. Done. Moses are all set. We're fine. Let's keep going. Um, yes. Yeah, so, I think we might need to... We could take a Mega Chelon. Let's take our Mega Chelon, boy. We'll just take him down there, and he can just tank everything. That's actually not a bad idea, because he has a really good saddle on him, I think. He just won't be able to deal too much damage. Our Bazzi's only got a primitive saddle. Let's just do that so we don't experience the massive frame rate. Okay. Uh, I forgot about that. We got that that we got to put out. Alrighty. Let's come into here. Drop all that off. Drop that off. Drop that off. Okay. Um, why is that white? Hmm. Cool. S do I have a Bazzi saddle in here? No. I feel like we should probably just take our two so. But I have to swim back down to the bloody motor. I might do that. I might take our two so because that's probably our strongest aquatic team. We got the Moses. We could take the Moses, I guess. But and then I have to move them all from bloody motor. Alright, I'm gonna dive back down to motor and I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to go for the next ones. Okay, guys, we've been reunited with Spudgy. And we're up here at Rip It, Roll It, and Punch It. So I think this is the, the turtle one that we've got to guide them through. Everything, I'm actually pretty sure. Our, yeah, our base is right around there. Um, so yeah, this is the one where we've got to guide the turtles through stuff, I think. We'll do Gamma because I know that... Uh, I know that we're going to have to smack some stuff around. Oh my god, they're baby turtles. They're so cute. So we have to swim with them? Are they walking on the ocean floor? No, they're swimming. Let's smack the sharks behind us. Look how tiny they are. Oh, we got maybe this wasn't the greatest idea to use our two so just because of the way we function with our attacks. Maybe this wasn't the greatest idea. I'm not even hitting it. Swing swing around, swing around. You can do it, mate. I believe in you. Hit the Manta, that's it. There you go. It took like seven damage. If we swim ahead of them, we should be able to just whack them like that. Yeah, I think that works better. I don't know why the Sabertooth Salmon are attacking us for, but it's annoying how we turn around like that. Come on, swim in front of them. Alright, whack them. No, dude, what are you doing? Just... Just be your normal self. There you go. That's it. Okay. Well, I mean, we're protecting them, but we're getting eaten by some saber tooth salmon. I'd really appreciate it if we... Where did they go? They're so tiny. I'm coming, baby turtles. Don't stress. I am here to save you. Let's kill these salmons that are constantly attacking me. All right. So we're just going to have to guide these guys to their mum, I guess. Um, it shouldn't be too hard as long as I can keep up the attacks. What am I doing? Oh, we're over encumbered. Whatever. Get rid of all that crap. Can you swim for me, big fella? I thought that was a two so Oh my god, I had a heart attack. That little bloody leaf thing. Alright. We should be okay. So yeah, I'm just going to try and blitz through this one as quick as possible. So that we can get it done from... Just to get it done. And yeah, we'll try and bring you guys back when, uh, when we're at the end, hopefully. Alrighty guys, and uh, I'm hoping we're nearing the end because I've made a terrible mistake and accidentally hit a Ammonite. So I'm currently getting bombarded by absolutely everything in the ocean and that also means that our poor little turtley boys are getting bombarded by everything in the ocean. And this is definitely not something that I need. Get off the Moser. Alright, if I can hold him here. Oh my god, 400 health. I think we're in trouble. Yeah. There's no way we're going to... I hit an Ammonite and it's all over with our tentacles. There's, there's no way we're going to be able to save these guys. If this... Oh, fuck me dead. I, I actually hate these missions. 
It's so annoying. All right. Well, I'm not doing that again because that's that's a joke. Uh, let's just do something else. Yeah, I spent like 20, 10, 15 minutes doing that. And that's what we get. All right. Uh, let's do the white whale. Hopefully that one's a better one. It's a tracking one. So, it's, you know, I hate those as well. But it'll be better than these stupid protecting ones that I can literally never complete. Because they always die. Okay, so the white whale and the plesiosaur are both here at this mission marker. So after we do the white whale, we'll do the plesiosaur. I might be able to do the beta plesiosaur. I don't think they hit as hard, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I just need to find some tracks. Helena, you wanna you wanna guide us, mate? Take us, take us away. Where are we going? It's gonna be a lot harder to control because we're on a two, so we should be okay. I think we'll be alright. So, yeah, we're going to hopefully blitz through this pretty easily with the gamma version being done. Although, I'm not getting the tracks, so I'm hoping that doesn't contribute to anything, but we'll see what happens. And this Brute Lead Scythicus is actually pretty damn tough. He's got a lot of health, but, like, he's not doing a lot of damage to us, but... Jeez Louises, we're hitting for, like, 2k damage. There's, I don't think there's any way we're going to be able to do the beta version of this one. Like, this is on gamma, and, like... He's not hitting us hard because we've got the Ascendant Saddle, but I can imagine how hard he would be hitting if we didn't have this saddle. Like, holy smokes. Does he pack a punch? All right, let's finish this guy off if we can. Dude, just... Just... Are you swimming away from us? Is that it? I think our base is around here somewhere. I think that is our base over there. Where else do we have ocean platforms? Literally nowhere else. Can this Megalodon... This Megalodon does more bloody damage than the, the Lead Scythicus. All right, where are our tracks at? We've only gotten 26 of them. Um, okay, I think I, is that one? Nope, that's just a donkey or something. It is getting nighttime or something here, so it's a bit harder to see the tracks. Okay, there we go. But at least in the water, they're a little bit more noticeable than the freaking footprints that we've been having to try and struggle to find. Yeah, well, look, this is our base. Hopefully, the lead Scythicus doesn't fight in the heat. All right, but let's dive. I'm gonna gamma up again, and hopefully that helps us see. Alrighty guys, here we go. The final battle with the big boy himself. Let's get this done. So he's got, okay, he's got some bazzies with him. That should be fine. We just can't grab him, I guess. But with our attacks that we do, we should be able to kill them pretty easily. They're not even interested in attacking us by the looks of it. Are they just, they're just chilling? I mean, they're not going to be an issue by the looks of it. They're dying pretty quickly. That's the great thing I love about the two, so it's attack speed. Each one of its attacks does like three hits, which is freaking awesome. Oh, we are going to be so freaking heavy in a second. So, like, every time you, you click once, it just does, like, three swipes of his tentacle. It's bloody great. Like, look at that. We could definitely use these guys against Moda, I reckon. I reckon Army of Tussos will do more damage than uh, Moses and maybe not the Megalodons? I don't know. I feel like the Megalodons were the MVPs of that battle. But, nonetheless, this Brute Lead Scythic is pretty much dead. Um, I, I still don't think we'd be comfortable doing the beta. I think the beta would freaking kick our ass. So, I'm not, well, I would kick our ass with just the two, so I think I'm just going to sit and be happy with the Yammer. I've got to kill, this dude's just dipped, he's just seen me and he's like, bro, I ain't sign up for this shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> he's swimming far away from us. Alright, let's just kill this last Bazzy, he should take, alright, cool, thank you, made my way all the way over and he gets teleported away. Sorry mate, you can't leave this mission. You're, uh, you're scheduled for death. All right, let's kill this guy, and he's dead. And then what we'll do is we'll do the plesiosaur one, and that shouldn't be an issue, really. That should get done pretty quickly. Don't spin around, mate. That's the one thing I dislike, though. They don't even want to aggro on us. Yeah, they don't even want to attack us, the Bazzies, which is fine in my books. Absolutely fine in my books, as long as I can kill it. There we go. Done. Okay, did we actually get anything good that time? Donkey saddle, which I'll probably never use, to be honest, because we ain't taming up a donkey. Uh, Equus saddle, some fur, some gilly, that. Don't need, don't need. Megalosaurus, some swords, don't need. A Titanosaur saddle, sure, I'll take that. Some clubs and a trike saddle, don't need any of that. Drop all of that. I don't think there was anything important on there, and put the rest into melee damage. Come here, Megalodon, you've signed up for a fate worse than death, mate. You're going to be leeched to death. Alright, we're going to make our way back over here to the white whale one, and we'll do the plesiosaur this time around. So, that's another mission that we can tick off the list. Alrighty, guys, here we go. This is the final battle with the brute plesiosaur. It's been pretty easy. I haven't had really too many issues trying to kill this thing. Uh, as you can see, we're dealing shit tons of damage to all its little followers. And... it's dead. 
Easy. So, this is only the Gamma. I feel comfortable enough that we could probably do the Beta. So, I'll probably get that done, but we're, I think, like three or four missions off from being able to deal with the Master Controller. So, next episode, I'm probably going to take the Rexes out to the Bog and we'll do some missions out in the Bog. Because with an army of Rexes, we're pretty much going to be unstoppable against beta missions. I'm, I'm not going to say alphas, because we'll probably get our ass handed to us on alpha missions. And we don't really want to lose our Rexes that we've bred up for uh, for the Master Controller. So, we'll finish this one, and you're done, skis, mate. Is this guy? Okay, and Electrophorus has to come along and ruin it for us, of course. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. We've got a Carbo Saddle, Carno Saddle, no. Daydon Saddle's actually not a bad idea. Diplo, we don't need, don't need. Some fur, uh, don't need, don't need. Trike, Packy, we got a Rex saddle. Uh, don't really need that either. Okay, well, I mean, not really anything we could really use, but I'm going to go do the beta real quick and uh, bring you guys back when that's done. Alrighty, guys, finished the beta version, and uh, I mean, loot wasn't really that great. We got a Mastercraft Basilisk saddle, Diplo saddles, an Ascendant Daydon saddle. That's actually a little bit better. Harpoon launcher, I don't think I really want those. Uh, I can drop those. Keep. Drop, drop, drop. Tappy Saddle, don't need really. Thorny Dragon Saddle, don't need. So, how are we looking for missions? Oh, we're taking a bit of damage, which is annoying. Um, okay, so we're at 50 missions. So we need four more missions and we can take on the Master Controller. So next episode, we're tackling on the Bog, I reckon. Um, we could easily do these guys. I didn't even think about these. We could do the racing ones. Um, and then I was thinking we could do a couple of these ones as well. Um, because we haven't done these, so like these would be pretty easy, I reckon. Um, and yeah, then we can take on the Master Controller the following episode. What is hitting us? Fucking eels. God damn. So yeah, that's going to wrap the episode up today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But on that, guys, I will catch you in the next one.